Howdy folks, Busy Gamer here bringing you another guide. In today's guide, I'm going to give you an in-depth look on how to customize your scoreboard. In this video, you will learn many things like showing skill levels, changing the color of text, and much more. For those of you that may not know, the scoreboard is the box that appears on the right-hand side of your Minecraft screen while in Mindscape. It can have skill levels, time played, ping, players online, targets, and whatnot. So the first thing I want you to do is type slash scoreboard in chat and press enter. Here you will see your scoreboard settings and from here you will enter all of the commands for personalizing your own scoreboard. In the scoreboard settings you will see at the bottom clear, colors, and variables. We will be going through all of these in this video. What I want you to do now though is in your scoreboard settings, which is again reached by doing slash scoreboard in chat, I want you to click clear. This will get rid of all of the current variables used for the basic scoreboard. Don't worry, this can be brought back easily, which is what I'll be showing you how to do next. To bring back the scoreboard, you want to type slash scoreboard update. Now you can either do slash server hub or exit Mindscape entirely after doing this. Once you've done this, join a world and after a moment the original scoreboard settings should be back. If not, you may have to do slash scoreboard update once more. Alright, now that we know how to do that, let's take a look at colors and variables. Hover your cursor over colors in the scoreboard settings and you will see a list of colors and how to produce them in your scoreboard. Every color has the AND symbol followed by a number or letter. For example, AND4 is blue and AND E is yellow. Now, let's take a look at variables. Hover your cursor over the variables and you will see a large list. To show current skill levels, experience, time played, etc, etc, you need these variables. They allow for things that change to be shown, like your prayer points for example. Alright, now you know the basics of what makes a scoreboard. Let's move on to making our own. So I'm going to use the one provided to all of us by Tuas. All of the chat lines for this scoreboard can be found on the Mindscape Discord and Server Related. It is the pinned post. I will be going over two of the chat lines he has so you guys can get an understanding of how each one is made by following along. The first one will show you usage of colors, variables, and text. The second one includes all of that along with the skill icons and what needs to be done to make sure they don't look funky on the scoreboard. Two things to know is that if you put on your first line just your health, but decide you want prayer points as well, you'll have to redo the entire line because you can't just edit in a new variable. Another thing to note is that you have to do one line at a time. You can't do multiple at once. Alright, on to our first line. Do slash scoreboard if you aren't already in the scoreboard settings. And the first thing you will type is slash chat space line space zero space HP colon colon is the two dots one above the other so a quick note chat lines require spacing spaces or nothing will show up on the scoreboard all right now that we have that out of the way what did we just do well slash chat line zero is a command that tells everything after it for that line where it will be going. In this case, HP colon will be shown on top of the scoreboard in line zero. Now that we understand that, let's go on to the next part. Hit space and type the symbol and followed by the number four, a less than symbol, health, and a greater than symbol. All right, so what did this one do? Well, AND4 was our color command for the color dark red. The less than symbol followed by health followed by the greater than symbol is what shows our current HP. 
So say you're fighting something and you take damage. It will let you know what your health is at. The color command before the variable is what changes the color of the text. So the numbers for our health will show as dark red. Now we want prayer points. I won't explain this as much. Same with the clan, because for the most part, the same thing. So after our health variable, press space and type and F P P colon space and E less than symbol prayer underscore points greater than symbol. One thing to note is when you are typing out the variables, they have to be exactly the same as they are in the variables list in the scoreboard settings. Otherwise, you'll get something like this. Now for the last part of this line. Hit the space button and type and f clan colon space and b less than symbol clan greater than symbol. This will show the current clan you are in. Now for our last part. So skill icons are shown using kanji. Don't worry, in the description below there's a link to a text guide that has all the skill icons and their corresponding kanji. The text guide was made by one of our community members in game username. Alright, let's get started. Type slash chat line 8 followed by a space and insert the kanji for defense. To do this, you can copy and paste it from the guide I mentioned before. After putting down the kanji, press space and type and a, a less than symbol, defense, and then a greater than symbol. This will show you your defense level. Alright, now we'll press space and r, followed by the kanji for herblor, space, and a less than symbol herblor greater than symbol so why did we do and r before this kanji but not the first one well if we didn't do that then we would get something like this and that's honestly not very nice looking in my opinion you are not required to do the and r for the first skill of a line just for any skill after so let's finish this line. Do space and R, the kanji for fishing, space and A, followed by a less than symbol, fishing, and then the greater than symbol. Press enter and you'll have your first skill line done. Congratulations everyone for making it to this point. If you found this video useful and want to see future guides, hit that like button subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified of new videos. If you have any questions or comments head down to the comment section below and make sure to check the description for information and links. Thank you all for watching and until next time, Busy Gamer out!